scrapbookers, this is Megan and I am back today with another inspiration to creation layout. So Desiree and I are going to be inspired by a building today. You will have seen the building that I um, decided to be inspired by and I actually was just kind of googling colorful buildings and I came across this one and it reminded me of the Studio Calico collection that I had and this was from a kit way back in I think 2014 that I got from Studio Calico and it had these jelly bean soup um, alphas. I don't remember what they're called. Uh, bean board or something like that. I don't know. But they're kind of like... Um, cardboard, chipboard, kind of a mix between the two. They're not thick like chipboard. Um, but um, this is kind of what inspired this this layout um, was this alpha and then also the colors orange and green. So I had these two photos of um, my son, Tinian, and then my cousin's daughter. And this, these are from last summer. And they, if you were wondering where they were, you'd, you would look all over for them and then you would realize, oh, they're probably swinging on the swing together. And then, yep, you would go out there and see them on the swing, <laughs> right? They were just always on the swings together and they loved playing on the swings together. And it was, it was just so cute. And this one night after dinner, they had went down to do that and I was up on the balcony and I saw them and they were just like smiling and laughing. And so I took a couple photos of them and I just thought they were too cute not to scrapbook. So here I am going to start putting this layout together. I keep it super, super simple. I decided I wanted the focus to be these two cute photos and so I'm going to embellish a little bit and then that's going to be it. <laughs> this layout literally I think took 30 minutes. So here I'm going to use some of these labels to make a cluster up there in the top left hand corner and I really liked um, the different sizes and how I could make different layers with um, the different sizes. Here I'm going to cut up that die cut and it just says happy things on it and then I'm also going to use quite a few of these puffy stickers on that sheet. Those are from Ellie's studio. I don't remember what collection that was from, but I received that from a giveaway from them. Okay, now I'm going to start layering papers behind the photos and I really absolutely love how this layering turns out. So this um, diagonally striped paper reminded me of the building, the colorfulness of the, the green and the orange and the, the reds and it was just perfect. So I'm going to cut this up to mat the photos on and it's going to just, yeah, it's awesome. I think that's my favorite part of this layout. And then I'm going to have that vellum polka dotted paper on there as well in that corner and I'm going to glue that down and that just works out perfect. I am just loving this layout so far. So I'm going to glue down the photos and then put down the ephemera that I'm going to, or the stickers that I'm going to put on the photos and then glue everything else down. And I think that this layout is pretty much done. 
make sure that you head on over and check out um, Desiree's layout that she made. Um, so this was her idea to be inspired by a building. So we each chose a building to be inspired by. So I'll try to remember to put a photo at the end so you can remember what my, my building image looks like and see how well I was inspired by that building. This series is is has been so much fun with Desiree. She got sick last month though, um, or this month I guess, because we're still in May. Um, and so we kind of didn't post on schedule and with my work schedule and everything, we're thinking we're gonna cut it down to just one video a month. Um, but we're still gonna try to do it at least on a monthly basis, at least one video a month. Now I'm gonna start gluing down um, the title, which is just gonna be Swing Buddies. I just thought it was such a sweet little title and just, they were so cute together. So I'm gonna glue that down. Okay, so here you can see that I have the title all glued down and I did move that orange, red, and pink banner down to the the bottom where the title is. I am going to add a few enamel dots in each of the clusters and then that is going to be it for this layout. Thank you so much for watching and stopping by today. I hope that you head on over to Desiree's channel and check out her layout that she made with her building inspiration and we will be back again in a month. And I think what we're going to be doing is posting on the very last Tuesday of the month. So catch us again on June 26th, I believe, is the next video we'll be posting live. Thanks so much for watching, and I hope you guys have a great scrappy week. Bye!